what's up y'all it's your boy sincere being here with the tutorial um with the error that i had an uh, issue with this is uh i have a new laptop windows 8 um, computer here just unbox it turn the power on and started using it um, and i started to download some things that i purchased like Snagit, fraps and even quicktime and every time i was trying to install that information i kept getting this error I did some research, uh, being a lot of information. A lot of people were saying that I needed to go to the notepad and create an MSI file, then drag the files into that, which I did make it, but it didn't work for me. Um, still did a lot of other research. Ended up contacting Microsoft, was on hold for quite a while, but then they ended up walking me through it. So I got it fixed then. I thought maybe I should do a video and just trying to get this out there to share to people because I can't be the only one that had this issue. And it's a very frustrating issue. So I'm gonna walk you through it and show you what I was told to do and what worked for me. Um, I was able to update my laptop already to Windows 8.1 update one. But even when I first got it, it was just Windows 8. It was still giving me the same issue. So it didn't make a difference if it was 8 or 8.1.1. Uh, still same problem. So let's go ahead and walk through it. I'm assuming you do have Windows 8 um, Laptops you got the touch screen just swipe over get the settings. You may have a different way of getting here control panel User accounts um, User accounts Manage another account now, This is the original one. that means that I just open up the laptop turn the power on for the first time I just started using I didn't make any other second user so this is the original one now what you're going to do is add a new user in pc settings which created myself a new one which has sensor b my email address it doesn't say administrator when you first do it it does say password protection once you create this new one then you're going to go back and go to change your account type once you change your account type you're going to click on administrator which is going to now give you the title of administrator click change account type now we go back, then like you saw before, you're gonna have your new user with administrator also same as this one, but this is the, the one you're gonna be using. You're gonna close out of here, and then you're going to restart your computer. And then when the computer reboots, it's gonna come back up, put in your password, and then it's gonna take you through a quick, maybe less than a minute process as if this was the first time you go into the laptop. Like it's gonna say, preparing your apps or something like that. That's how I did me. So give it some time to do that, which was like I said, maybe a minute. And then once you get back to your desktop, and then now you should be able to download and install programs that you were trying to do. As you can see now, I'm using um, Snagit right now to run. QuickTime is working. I have Fraps um, uh, already installed, so it, it does work. So again, if you got a, a Windows 8 computer, you just got it, you just open it up, put the power on you haven't created any other users and you're using the original um, administrator and you get in this error then that's what you're going to want to do uh, one more time you're going to go through uh, your settings control panel user accounts user accounts manage another account add a new user and PC settings which is going to put you as a new user so you should have two and you can do this for every uh, multiple times so any other person you want them to have their own separate user account do the same thing for them I think you can do up to five uh, once you create that new user go back change your account type select administrator change your account type and then that would then uh, put the title of administrator under your user also same thing with your, your daughter, your son, and your mother, whoever you can put on here too. Uh, X out of that, restart the computer, sign in, let it do the little thing it's gonna do, get back to your desktop, and then now you should be able to install any programs that you've been trying to install before. So hopefully this helps you out a lot, it helped me a lot. Um, I just wanna do a video so that it can save you some time having to do the research and and going on hold for a long time please share this video uh, with everyone you know uh, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh i see you soon come again bring a friend hope this helps you out i'm out of here peace